Emperor Sheev Palpatine is one of the most powerful Sith Lords in galactic history and is arguably one of the most powerful individuals in all of the Skywalker lore. Not only is he an incredibly powerful force user and lightsaber combatant, but he is an incredibly influential political figure who has the ability to bend entire governments to his will. Needless to say, there is not a lot that Palpatine feared. He is a cunning tactician and master strategist in addition to one of the most talented Sith alchemists of his day. Talented in the Sith practices of both old as well as new, offering Palpatine a wide variety of different skills and abilities, both in the Force and otherwise. It stands to reason that there would be very little that could possibly stand in Palpatine's way, as he was able to defeat the likes of Yoda and several talented Jedi Masters. The only known individual to best him in single combat had been killed, and his new empire was the most formidable governmental system in the galaxy. So with all the power at the height of the Empire, was Palpatine afraid of really anything else? With the Jedi defeated and the Republic in shambles and now completely his, what could he possibly have to fear? Well today, students of the Force, let's answer that question and talk about some of the very few things that Palpatine actually feared over his political career as well as his career as a Sith Lord. Starting with the era of the Clone Wars and up until his death, we will talk about the very few individuals that Palpatine actually feared. In addition to this video, we recently released another video on how Palpatine feared Qui-Gon Jinn more than any other Jedi, which we encourage you to watch, as again, Jinn was actually feared by Sidious. But today, we will be talking about other individuals from across the lore. In terms of sheer power and raw strength, there was one particular individual that Palpatine feared during the era of the Republic, and that was the Dathomirian shaman and powerful force witch Mother Talzin and her coven of Night Sisters. Her leadership of the Night Sisters and power within the Force led her to governing one of the most powerful legions of Force sensitives in the entire galaxy during the Clone Wars era. Rivaling the power of the Jedi and Sith to some smaller degree, she was able to influence the flora and fauna of her homeworld of Dathomir and use the Force to influence the growth of plant life. Mastering this and other Force powers from the light and dark sides of the Force respectively in tandem, which is something that Sidious actually feared. Mother Talzin trained with the likes of both Darth Maul and Asajj Ventress before they were eventually turned over to the Sith, and she even traded dark side teachings with Sidious himself as an equal during his reign as a Dark Lord of the Sith. They fed off of one another, and overlapping considerably as representatives of their own alliances, leading them both to seeing a similar terms of power and near equal force potential and control, at least at the time, as Palpatine is nowhere near as powerful during the Clone Wars era, especially during the middle of it, than he would be following. As the Night Sisters were ultimately enlisted as assassins, their notoriety continued to grow throughout the duration of the Clone War, and they were some of the most gifted Force practitioners in the entire galaxy that didn't fall under the affiliation of the Jedi or other Dark Side Orders. If there was one individual outside of the Jedi Order that stood a chance of rivaling Palpatine's raw strength and straight Force potential, then it was likely Mother Talzin. Mother Talzin, of course, though, would be killed in 19 BBY by Ventress and later by Sidious himself. And and her legion of Night Sisters was still regarded as one of the most powerful cults in galactic history. During the shadow of the Empire, however, Mother Talzin had been killed and the Night Sisters had been all but scattered, meaning that she didn't hold any threat to Palpatine whatsoever during the Imperial Era. So then, who was Palpatine's greatest threat at the height of the Empire? We know that the Rebellion was struggling to gain traction, Luke Skywalker was still largely unknown, and the limits of his power had not yet been tested. So who stood as the greatest threat to Palpatine's rule before his supposed death during the Battle of Endor? And who posed the greatest threat afterwards? Perhaps his greatest fear during the reign of the Empire was one of the individuals he was closest with in the entire galaxy, that being Darth Vader himself, who Palpatine had feared from the very beginning. During the era of the Clone Wars, Palpatine understood that much of his plan relied on turning Anakin to the dark side, and corrupting the Chosen One was no easy feat to accomplish, especially beneath the watch of the Jedi Order. 
which ran the risk of him being constantly discovered. Still though, he needed Anakin as his prize. He understood Anakin's full potential and the level to which he could one day grow. And before his defeat on Mustafar, Palpatine simultaneously feared and admired Anakin's latent potential and the fullest extent of what he may one day be capable of as a Sith. This meant that after his dismemberment at the hands of Obi-Wan, Palpatine had to enact certain safeguards in order to ensure that Vader still consistently was kept at bay and consistently kept under Sidious's own latent ability. Even after Vader had undergone these intense injuries, he was still a threat, even if Palpatine wanted him to believe that he was no longer one. Palpatine made Vader's suit particularly susceptible to force lightning, which would short out the life support circuits and kill Vader if he ever needed to resort to this, and he ensured that Vader would never be able to surpass him in power. Not only was he incredibly strong in the force, but now Palpatine had to keep him alive long enough to find a new apprentice, which was his ultimate goal. And Sidious no longer was content with being killed by Lord Vader, which added a new layer of fear and apprehension to his plans. Originally, Palpatine understood that Vader would eventually overthrow him and carry on the ways of the Sith under the doctrine of the Rule of Two established by Darth Bane, a rule that had gotten the Sith so far. And if Palpatine was able to still train the single greatest Sith Lord in the history of the galaxy, then he would be willing to accept his inevitable demise if his plans to achieve immortality did not work. Since Vader lost the extent of his potential, however, Sidious had to seek out other apprentices or ensure that his eternal life program worked in preserving his consciousness past a potential death. For the next 19 years, he had been on a constant guard against Vader always anticipating that he could be usurped from his position as Emperor. And he had to enact several different Imperial safeguards as well, including one that would effectively burn the structure of the Empire to the ground if he was ever to be killed. Eventually, Sidious was willing to let Vader die at the hands of Luke, who he believed could be a much stronger apprentice since he had not been crippled in the same way that Vader had. There is even an argument to be made that he came to fear Luke after his supposed death, but this is yet to be formally confirmed in the canon. However, it is likely that he did fear Luke to some extent based on his return in the end of the Skywalker saga, and the fact that Sidious had not been seen for the greater part of 35 years since the Battle of Endor, allowing Luke to grow disillusioned with the Jedi himself. Many believe that this is because he inherently feared Luke, and he refused to return until he could absolutely be sure that Luke was dead. What we can confirm, though, is Palpatine's inherent fear for Vader. Even though Vader was latently not as powerful as Sidious was in the Force, and had far less skill, he was still afraid of him, as after all, this was still the famed Chosen One of the Jedi. And Vader in his own right grew to a terrifying combatant, and all the fear that Vader imposed against his enemies, the Jedi and rebels alike, rubbed off on Sidious, the Emperor himself. But what are your thoughts on this, and what are your thoughts on the fact that these are the two individuals that Palpatine feared more than anybody else, them and of course Qui-Gon Jinn? And which of the three do you believe that he ultimately feared the most? As always, my friends, thank you guys so much for watching the channel. Hit that subscribe button, and may the force be with you.